send it all the time good morning everybody so we are just going to pretend that i'm not fake sleeping here so this is my 8 a.m morning routine doesn't really matter the waking up time because honestly it tends to shift every single day i don't know filming in the morning it's just not a good idea it's never really 8 a.m all the time but i've been really trying to get up by 8 so that i can get a lot of things done before you know like before 12. so right after i wake up i brush my teeth and you know do all the bathroom stuff a very important part of my morning routine is that every time i wake up i try to drink like a glass of water or two because every morning i wake up feeling so dehydrated so this is like a crucial step for my morning routine i don't really drink a lot of water throughout the day but in the morning i try to i think the reason i'm doing this morning routine is because i'm not going to have one after a week like a proper morning routine that's because i'm going back to college i didn't see that coming honestly but here we are college reopening that's kind of a big news at the moment because i'm going back after two years yes i was patiently waiting for this day to go back and enjoy the last few days of my college life but there's also a part of me who doesn't want to go you know what i mean like there's this part of me who loves staying at home doing all the basic things like making a cup of coffee or making a toast before i start working out I feel like these small little rituals that we make for ourselves are what honestly gives us joy and going to a, like a whole new setting kind of ruins it for me and I don't like that very much. So I thought I'd honor such little joys in my life and make these morning routine and enjoy, you know, little moments like this. So right before working out, I'm having a toast with a boiled egg and also scrolling through Pinterest because that's kind of like my, you know, favorite thing to do. So it's currently 9 a.m. right now and I know it's like a bit early for me, but I'm going to start working out. So that's probably the worst transition of all time. So when it comes to workout, every day I try to do something new because I tend to get bored very easily. So I have this little playlist for that. I remember like there used to be a time when I used to make it compulsory to work out at least 40 minutes a day. And that wasn't really a good time for me because it used to put so much pressure on me, which kind of made me not feeling excited to work out. So instead, I try to go for like 20 minute workout sessions. So I've been doing workouts by this girl called Martina Levi, I think. She's like super underrated, but her workouts are so good. I can already see changes. I will make sure to link some of her workouts that I personally love. Most of them are like five minute workouts, but they burn so good. And that's exactly what you need. I'm gonna do this one now. 10 minutes slim and toned thighs in seven days. I don't know about the seven days part, but this is actually a really nice work so yeah i started this day with some squats funny story i hated doing squats i don't even know why but i'm trying to incorporate it into my workout routine these days and realizing it's not that bad my form might not be perfect but i'm just learning you know and then i did this uh, leg workout which burns so good you should definitely try it out i think i'm done for today there so after i come out of the shower i usually do some skincare especially right after working out skincare wasn't really a part of my morning routine before because i didn't really have a proper skincare routine at all but nowadays i'm trying to take some time out just to do skincare because my skin as you can see is not in the best condition and it definitely needs some care i'm just doing some basic skincare routine nothing extra so this is my so-called basic skincare routine <laughs> i start with a toner first 
and then I apply my vitamin C serum trust me all this I never used to do before but once I started I feel like there's just no going back and skincare is quite therapeutic right never used to get that before um, and yeah then I apply a moisturizer body lotion and um, all that stuff So it's currently 11.30 right now and I'm gonna make my breakfast which is gonna be something that I have all the time. Don't be disappointed. Alright, so if you know me, you'll probably know my love for oatmeal too. Uh, so right after working out, I love having oatmeal because I feel like it just nourishes my body very well and makes me full. So yeah, my morning routine would be quite incomplete without it, I feel. Um, so here I'm using just banana for that day, but sometimes when I have some other fruit, I like to use that too. I'm done with almost everything that I do in the morning. I am done with my workouts, took a shower and everything. And now I'm gonna have my breakfast and also read this book that I started last night. Now reading is something that I've been trying to be consistent with because once I get into a reading slump, I just cannot get out of it. So reading a little bit every single day is kind of helping, I guess. Lately, I've been really into murder mysteries because I feel like these are the kind of books that really keeps you hooked. And this is a really nicely written book. So far, I've completed like 100 pages and the chapters are very well written in the sense that it won't bore you. You know what I mean? There are some chapters in like interview formats so you'll feel like you're going along the journey and that's like really interesting and cool i feel i'm gonna read this book now and have my breakfast and that's probably it for my morning routine so that was actually it <laughs> after completing all these things i just try to relax take a moment to read a book or you know even watch something and that was it for my morning routine guys i hope you like this video and i'll see you with a new one Bye!